Hello and welcome to my.homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this problem on number notation and place values. Well, the question goes, how many tens must be subtracted from 5450 to get 5120? Now, this is a slightly tricky question in that it doesn't ask you to simply subtract the two numbers, but it asks you how many tens must be subtracted from the first number to get the second number. So the steps to solving this problem is to first find out how many tens there are in 5420 and to find out how many tens there are in 5120 and then subtract the two to get the answer. All right, so let's first find out how many tens there are in the number 5450. All right, so this is our place value chart and we have put the number 5450 in it. Now, in a previous lesson, we learned how to find out how many hundreds there are in a given number. To find out how many tens there are in a given number is also quite similar. So first of all, now we know that 1000 is equal to 10 hundreds. So obviously then 5000 would be equal to 50 hundreds. So if we were to change this place value chart, so it looks something like this, with no thousands but the thousands and hundreds combine into one column then we have 50 hundreds from the five thousands four hundreds from here so all together there would be 54 hundreds five tens and zero ones now next since we have to find out how many tens there are in this number we got to change the hundreds to tens all right so now 100 is equal to 10 tens so 54 hundreds would then be equal to 540 tens and eventually, we know that 540 tens plus 5 tens is equal to 545 tens. So what we have done so far is we have found out how many tens there are in 5450. 5450, well, it has 545 tens. Similarly, 5120, well, it has 512 tens. Next, we know that the third step is to subtract the two. So, 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. But we have to subtract 545 and 512. And what we get is the working that's uh, shown here to the right of the screen. 5 minus 2 is 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. So, there are 33 tens that must be subtracted from 5450 to get 5100. 20. All right, now that's just one of the two methods that you can use to solve this problem. The next method is, I'll show that here. In the next method, what you do is first you subtract these two numbers. So you subtract 5120 from 5450. And then the result that you get from that, you change to tens. Okay, so here's how you do it. 5450 minus 5120 let's do the working here to the right of the screen 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 2 is 3 4 minus 1 is 3 so 5450 minus 5120 is equal to 330 all right now we have subtracted the two numbers but we know that we have to find out the answer in tens or actually we have to find out how many tens there are in 330 so what we do is we take our place value chart okay and that's how you put the number 330 into it and then we know that 100 is equal to 10 tens so 300s would be equal to 30 tens now the 30 tens from here and the 3 tens from here together they give you 33 tens so there you go again both the methods Give the same answer there are 33 tens that must be subtracted from 5450 to get 5120 all right that brings us to the end of this lesson for practice questions and worksheets log on to my.homecampus.com.sg this is M signing off for now bye bye